a call to battle stations, and the Tahrir Square protesters rush for the barricades. It turns out it's a false alarm. There's no attack, but it does show how fiercely they'll defend this territory. State TV, meanwhile, showed pictures of Hosni Mubarak calmly meeting his cabinet, apparently oblivious to the worldwide sensation of Walid Ghanim, the young Google executive and online activist who disappeared 10 days ago from Tahrir Square. Upon his release from custody today, he said, please don't make a hero out of me. The real heroes are the ones who died in the streets. Back in the square, demonstrators were upping the ante. They blockaded a government building and stopped the employees from getting to work. The Mubarak regime clearly wishes they would just go away. But if anything, their camp is looking more and more permanent. People all over the world are talking about the demonstrators in Tahrir Square, but the question is who, if anyone, is talking for them? The bands lead this protest the Egyptians will not accept representatives at the current state. Tonight, we track down one of the organizers of the very first protest marches. Ahmed Abbas said they never imagined this protest would explode into a movement truly popular and still with no formal leaders. That's what's confusing the system the most. They want to find someone, and there's no. It, it's, it's everybody. I'm Noor. A well-known opposition leader joined the demonstrators last week and was hit in the head with a rock. Yeah. And now? You have headaches? No. I have uh, different he headaches. Yeah. Mubarak headaches. In 2005, Noor challenged Hosni Mubarak in presidential elections and ended up in jail. He agrees the protesters have no leader and there is only one way to end the standoff now. Mubarak has to go. There may be some signs of protest fatigue now, but the people in Tahrir Square seem willing to wait. So tonight, we've got a stalemate with apparently limitless quantities of stubbornness to go around on both sides. Katie? And Liz, as you well know, this has been going on for some time. How long will these demonstrators stay? They still sound pretty committed, and I can tell you that I went to ask them today how they were managing to wash and uh, use the washroom down there in the square, and they told me that there was a dilapidated public washroom, uh, and lots of volunteers came from the crowd who knew how to do plumbing. They fixed it up. It's working. They're now equipped for the long haul. All right. Liz Palmer in Cairo tonight. Liz, thank you.